Today we are making what is considered to be one of the most popular main courses that hail from Spain, but more specifically from the province of Sevilla. We're talking bacalao con tomate. This dish is basically cod fillets that you fry in extra virgin olive oil, and then you finish them off in a very simple yet delicious tomato sauce. Folks serve this dish next to some fried potatoes and a bottle of Spanish wine, and with that first bite you're going to have an instant trip to the beautiful province of Sevilla. This video is sponsored by Tienda.com. La Tienda is an online superstore that focuses on selling all things Spain for your home and kitchen, and they've been around since 1996. And like I always tell you, they have the biggest selection of artisan Spanish ingredients, like queso manchego, the famous jamón serrano and jamón ibérico, marcona almonds, olives, the beautiful canned seafood from Spain, and all the spices you need to make all your favorite Spanish recipes, among so many other great ingredients. And let me tell you, when it comes to cookware, they have an amazing selection of authentic Spanish paella pans that range in size from two servings all the way up to 50 servings. And they even offer classic grilling systems that way you can always perfectly cook your paella at home. Folks, visit tienda.com, let them know Albert from Spain on Fork sent you there, and make sure you use coupon code on Fork during checkout for 10% off your order. All right, let's begin by heating a large fry pan with a medium heat and adding in a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 60 milliliters. While the oil is heating, I'm gonna add in four cod fillets over some paper towels and pat them completely dry. The size of the fillets I'm using are seven ounces, which is 200 grams each. And I am using cod that I bought frozen and thawed out, but you can also use the fresh stuff here, as well as any other type of firm white fish. Then we'll season the fillets with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper, and you just have to do this on one side. And then we'll coat each fillet in some all-purpose flour, and you want to make sure they're evenly coated all around. Okay, let's move back to the fry pan. Once the olive oil is nice and hot, but as you can see, it's not smoking, so it hasn't lost any of its beautiful flavor. I'm gonna add in the cod fillets into the pan, making sure they're all in a single layer. And we're gonna fry the pieces of cod for just one minute per side. At this stage, you don't wanna fully cook the cod through, just give it a light golden crust all around. After frying the pieces of cod for two minutes, once again, that's one minute per side, we'll remove them from the fry pan and set them aside. Now using the same pan with the same heat, I'm gonna add in one large brown onion that I roughly diced, and eight cloves of garlic that I thinly sliced. And we'll mix the ingredients around, that way they're all coated in the olive oil. And since we cut the onion and garlic into larger chunks, you don't have to mix this continuously, but do get under every 30 seconds or so, that way everything evenly sautés. After four to five minutes, and the onion is translucent, and the garlic is beautifully fragrant, I'm gonna add in a 14 and a half ounce can of tomato sauce, which is 410 grams. And we'll season everything with sea salt, freshly cracked black pepper, and a little pinch of white sugar to cut the acid from the tomatoes. And we'll give it a mix until everything's well mixed together. Then we'll add in two bay leaves into the sauce and lower the fire to a low medium heat. And we're gonna simmer this for about 10 minutes. That way the tomato sauce can thicken and all the flavors can develop. After about 10 minutes and the tomato sauce has slightly thickened, I'm gonna add in the cod fillets back into the pan. Once again, making sure they're all in a single layer. and we'll gently flip each piece of cod, that way they're fully coated in the sauce. Then we'll place a lid on the pan and simmer this for another three to five minutes or until the pieces of cod are perfectly cooked. Once the pieces of cod are cooked through, this dish is ready to go. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat 
And you can serve this directly out of the pan or even transfer it into some serving dishes. Either way, make sure to top it off with some chopped fresh parsley. Check it out, bacalao con tomate, a beautiful recipe from the province of Sevilla. Easy to make, minimal ingredients, and the kind of food that's gonna fill your body with so much goodness. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Once again, folks, bacalao con tomate, this I cannot wait to try. Here we go. Look how beautifully cooked that cod is. I'm teleporting it to you. I'm telling you, the combination of that cod, which once again beautifully cooked this melt in your mouth with that tomato sauce, explosion of so many great textures and flavors. You know, for me, this is another dish from the humble Spanish kitchen where less is more and the simple things are the best things. Give this a try and I promise with that first bite, you are gonna absolutely love it. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Manuel J. Rosales, David Houston, Britt Saunders, Tandy Irvin, and Debbie Lee. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That we can get notified every time I release new content, but most importantly, to become a part of the Spain on a Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego. Viva Sevilla. Bacalao con tomate, uno de los mejores platos de España. Hasta luego.